Well, we are here today to celebrate the marriage and the wedding <laughs> of Patrine and Brent. And uh, we want to uh, be excited for them. And um, I just um, want to just share how important marriage is. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate, instituted of God, and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and His church. This holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with His presence in Cain of Galilee, and the Apostle Paul commended as honorable among all men. It is not therefore to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. I require and I charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God and these witnesses today, to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy, enduring home. No other human ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. And if these solemn vows be faithfully kept, and if you steadfastly do the will of your Father, your life will be full of joy, and in the home you're establishing will abide in peace. You know, I'm reminded today that there's a passage of Scripture in um, Galatians that says, you reap what you sow. And uh, I just want to encourage you as a couple that every day you sow good seeds in your marriage. Compassion, because mm -hmm. there's times you're going to need it. There's times he's not going to measure up, and there's times you're not going to measure up. Is going to have to show mercy. Those are seeds you plant. Mercy is one of those things that you got to give. <laughs> and love. And love is not just emotion. Love is also working at it, making the time to love each other, to say that you love each other. Because I always say this, marriage is work, but it's a great payoff. And so plant every day good seeds because eventually you'll reap a harvest that will be unbelievable and will make a difference in your life for the future. So will you, Brent, have a treen as your wedded wife? I will. Oh, we're not ready yet. Boy, you're, you're fat. <laughs> oh, he's in a hurry. 
That's okay. Slow down. I go, yeah. <laughs> Will you, Brent, have betrayed as your wedded wife to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live? If so, will you please say, I will. Right. Will you, Patrine, have Brent as your wedded husband to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him and comfort him and honor and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live? If so, will you please say, I will. Brent, will you repeat after me? Yeah, after me. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I, Brent McCaver. I, Brent McCaver. Take you, Patrine Udut. Take you, Patrine Udut. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, according to God's holy law, according to God's holy law, and thereto, and thereto, I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. Patrine, we repeat after me. Hmm. I, Patrine Udu. I, Patrine Udu. Take you, Brent McCaver. Take you, Brent McCaver. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I pledge you my faith. And thereto I pledge you my faith. The couple has chosen to exchange rings as a symbol of their love and affection. Brent, will you repeat after me? With this ring, with this ring, a symbol of the love and vows, a symbol of the love and vows, taken between us today, taken between us today, I now take you as my wife, I now take you as my wife, before God, before God, relatives, relatives, and friends. And friends. Train, will you repeat after me? With this ring, with this ring, a symbol of the love and vows, a symbol of the love and vows, taken between us today, taken between us today, I now take you as my husband, I now take you as my husband, before God, before God, relatives, relatives, and friends, and friends. Let me pray for you, Lord. Today, um, we are reminded that marriage is your idea. You love it. And God, today I pray your blessing upon this couple as they have started this journey of life together as a married couple. I pray, God, for your blessing upon them. I pray that every day you would help them to plant good seed that will make a difference down the road, will make a difference even today. I pray, Lord, that you would watch over them, give them the love for each other that they need, and help this congregation, this group of people here to support them and be there for them and bless them in so many ways. So I pray your blessing upon this couple today. And I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. For as much as Brent and Patrine have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company have pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God have joined together, let not man put asunder. Brent, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> the whole time. Okay. <laughs>
if that's okay. We sure. didn't, didn't practice this. No. But, uh, yeah. So this, you just sign your, your name right now. What, you know, your Udo. Okay, right there. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to get you to sign it. Great. You can put it right there. Okay, or actually sign right there. Okay. And you're next. You can come and stand. You're right there. So you would sign right there. That's your address. There. I'm going to get you to sign right here too. Right there. Right in front of your name. Yep. Sure can. Yep. Okay. Get you to sign right there. What's that? My last name, name is Lee. Lee. I first saw it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so legit. Yeah. It's not going to make a difference. <laughs> no, it's not going to make a difference. Okay. There you go. Oh, okay. there you go. <laughs> Do you want a picture? Okay. <laughs> Brent, you want to come in here? She wants a picture. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. McCaver. There will be a receiving line over here to greet the couple. So, okay. You guys head out. You guys are supposed to go down and you guys follow. Yeah. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. <laughs> 